incremental greetings. Today I want to share with you the new feature introduced in SuperMemo 19 and is the import PDF. And let's see what's the difference with the SMA, SuperMemo Assistant, Assistant PDF add-on. So here I have several PDFs to try and let's see what will happen. This is a, a very good example because in you know, just a few pages I have almost everything. So I have like a watermark, I have footnotes, I have monospace font, balding italics, text in color, LaTeX with superscripts, images, well figures, tables, and almost everything that a PDF could have. So how this will be seen in SuperMemo. Then this is from the website already. Then I have local PDFs that are in my computer. More or less about the same, slightly more simple. Then another example that a book with many, many images and with a repetitive structure. You have the title, Objective indications, precaution, instruction, variations, progressions, da, da, da. and you see that it's always the same pattern, the same structure. And then yoga self-taught. I read this book in a paper form many years ago. And what happens that I think are just images, not text. So let's see what happens. So first, instead of control shift A. This will import from Internet Explorer, will be empty, is web import with shift F8. Cool. So the mode has been recognized as PDF already. Then you have the address, address is local here. That won't have an, a difference. Even though if it's a local file, I'm importing it through the browser. Chrome in my case. So I select all of them and I import. Okay. So let's have this bite by side. So to the left, how it looks. So yes, at least I can know that the text is there. So if I can sear, if I want to search by a keyword and so on, it will hit because the text is there. But first I get new line, the new line breaks. Okay, it's still not a big deal. I can uh, live with this. First, it's just text. That means that now if I want images, there's nothing. So all of the images are completely lost. Next, all of the styling is also lost. Not just the color, like here, here, and so on, but even the balding, everything is lost. Then the formulas, formulae, sometimes it kind of works because if it can be expressed in plain language like this one. And here's an example of the LaTeX or MatJax or whatever language they are using. This is lost. It's just plain text. Yeah, so the numbers are there. So if for you that's enough, feel free to use this feature. Uh, in my personal case, uh, this is uh, too much friction. I cannot uh, use this. Let's go to the next one. That is the same, but it's local. And it's slightly more simple. But the main difference is that you have two columns. Okay, good. So it seems that it's just one column. So exactly what I wanted. So yes, I have weird line breaks, but it's still readable. Then what I lose is kind of, wh wh what is this? Oh, it's because this is a part of the footer of the page. But since I lose everything, I only have plain text. It's not that obvious that this is uh, not a continuation of the text. But well, yeah, still there, right? Okay, I don't have the styling of the table. But at least I still get the information. Those are the sections. So I, I'm actually impressed because sometimes the PDF, because of the ligatures, especially the F letter, is problematic that you get a different uh, character and so on. So I'm pretty impressed that actually the, the text is pretty well done. But 
two matches has been lost. So now, it's okay, more or less I'm familiar with this. So perhaps today, for me it's enough, because I have seen the images. But if I take this two incremental route, and I see this in some months, is what is this? Doesn't make sense. Oh, it's describing an image that is not here. Oh, this is the footnote, this is not a continuation of the text. Or anything that, ah, no, I'm sorry. But I cannot follow with that. Next, let's see with uh, images and uh, with uh, and a structure. Let's see if I can find this pattern easily in the PDF. Copyrights, pa pa pam, higher level, variations here, one, two, three. I, at I still I keep the, the bullet number. That's awesome. Progression. Yeah, here the progression is meaningless because I have the page. In Super Memo, I don't have the pages, so this is not relevant for me. So it's still good enough that I could be able to select these, make an extract, in this case for the pre-100. And because the structure is repetitive, even, even if it's just plain text, it's still useful. Oh my god. This takes ages. The topic is too long. So what I could still do is doing this alongside the PDF. So now I do what could not be possible. And it's getting the images. And let's pretend that I um, I put a big full name with this and so on. It's, hey, now I have everything. So you prefer this or just do the opposite from the source? Do copy and paste, copy and paste. Because I could have done this. I select this exercise. Let me apply the template. And I paste the image as well. So the question is, is it worth? Well, the difference that I have is that I have the entire contents of the book that I'm going to split, which in this case it will be rather cumbersome because of the slowness. And at the end of today, I will have here to the end the reference. So I know that this is taken from the same place and they're all extracts. There will be siblings, children of the same source. And if I do copy and paste, this will be lost unless at the very end I generate the source. So I could go here, reference, and add. And I will uh, add it myself. And then let's pretend this is the first. Then I will select the branch. So all of the exercises I did for Pilates will be here. And then is reference and set reference. So at the end of the day, when I'm done, I, I only have the flashcards, items. I will have more or less the same product. The images with the, what I want to remember with all of the this. So that depends what you want while you are still reading this. And remember, that's the case that it's very systematic. It's always the same structure. And finally, what will happen if you want to import uh, and a scanned book with the built-in feature. Let's check that. Nice. In this case, to my surprise, well, not my surprise, I was pretending a little. I get text. Because yes, even if it's a scanned, if you see it can select, that means it has been OCR'd. So based on the image, with artificial intelligence or a tool that uses OCR recognizes the um, characters, which is not 100% accurate, but most of the time it's accurate, enough that you can read it. And in this book, yes, there are still images. They are not that important because the book is super long and there are only 12 asanas, if I remember. I don't know how many pictures. It's still a pre pretty good job. If you consider that when you select the text, it's kind of weird. You have like extra space all of the time and so on. It's kind of awkward. 
and this is like pasted well. The only th thing is the same as before, that the new line breaks. So hey, in this case, I could actually use this solution. So assuming I don't find an EPUB version of this book, or I cannot convert it well, I will use this sol solution myself. And the few moments that I need the images, I will just go here like the book and do the, um, the screenshot. Because I will need to do this how many times? Three, four per Asana, there are 12, like 40 something times overall in the entire book. And there's a ton of text about breathing and so on. So for me, that does the job. So overall, that, that depends on you if this is worth it. If I have to choose, I will recommend this feature. Without specifics, I will say no. But I would in cases like that. That is mostly text. The text is kept good. What I, for me, it's unusable. It's um, PDF like that. So if in your case you have a lot of figures, styling, formulas, and so on, forget about super memo uh, pdf import and other cases like this could depend but this is just an outlier it depends specifically on the book so what i will suggest is to first import the book check how it is and if it's not worth it just delete it right away and use sma even if you have to use super memo 18 for the shake of sma or other tools. So if you have too much friction, perhaps the best option is not to use Super Memo at all. It's better something that doesn't have the same degree of priorities, optimization with priorities, but you still read it incrementally at some degree. So those are my two cents. Nothing but to add today and see you incrementally.